drop it in place. So there we go. It just fits right in. And then you take this lever and then you snap it shut. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU. I did purchase this processor myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the key product tech specs. This is a 5000 series AMD CPU with Zen 3 architecture on the AMD socket AM4. This is a 12 core, 24 thread processor with PCIe 4.0. This does not include a cooler or thermal paste, so keep that in mind. And you will need to have a discrete graphics card if you're going to be using this processor. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have an important reminder right here letting us know that this processor is a 5000 series processor and it is compatible with AMD socket AM4, but you may need to update your motherboard's BIOS for it to be compatible. Next, you can see we have our installation instructions right here walking us through step by step everything we need to know to get our CPU installed on our motherboard right here, step by step, simple and straightforward. And last but not least, we have the CPU itself right here. Check it out, AMD Ryzen. We have our Ryzen 9 5000 series sticker. And then you can see from the back side, we have all the pins on our CPU. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed and try it out. So on our motherboard, we have a couple of different parts and components to install. We're gonna install the CPU, the cooler, our RAM, and our M.2 drive. First, let's go ahead, let's prep for our cooler. So we're gonna remove these two pieces right here. And then we're gonna take our four screws and those four black pieces, and we're gonna drop them in place. And we're gonna install those with these brackets. So it's gonna go black spacer, this bracket are screwed down in on this side. And then same thing on the other side right here. Pay attention to how we have the bracket too with that bump up. It's not gonna be a valley, it's gonna be a mountain right there. And you can reference the user guide and manual with your cooler as well. But we're doing the AM4 option right here and it is labeled for us. So let's go ahead, let's get that removed and get these installed. So here you go, you can see what one side looks like right here. Again, you're just gonna take these two pieces, drop them in place, line up the metal bracket here and drop those two screws in. For the AM4 installation, you do not use the included washers, so you can just set those aside. Now you can see both brackets have been installed. Let's go ahead, let's put the CPU on. When installing the CPU, make sure you line up the gold triangle right here with the triangle on the corner of your socket. So we have this lever right here. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna open that up. Now we're ready to drop it in place. Again, match the triangle with the triangle right there. So we're gonna flip this around and you can see we have the triangle on this side too. It's a little bit easier to see on the other side and just gently drop it in place. So there we go. It just fits right in and then you take this lever and then you snap it shut. Now we have successfully installed our CPU. So before going any further with the CPU cooler, I recommend getting your RAM installed. So here we go. We're going to take our two sticks of RAM. We're going to follow the indicator on the board. So for our first two sticks, we're going to use A2 and B2. It's only going to go one way. So make sure you have it lined up properly and then just gently press in place. You should hear it snap. So there we go. Just snapped in place. And now let's take our second stick. Same thing, line it up, only gonna fit one way. Gently press. There we go, just snapped in place. And now we have successfully installed our RAM. Also at this step, while we have the most room to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and install our M.2 drive in the first slot right here. So we have to remove this cover and we'll get it installed. Here's what it looks like with the cover removed. Check this out, this is really cool. So when we install our M.2 drive with this board, it's gonna snap right in. And then we have this little lever right here and it locks it in place, no screw needed. Now we're ready to put this cover back on, but be sure to remove this piece of film before you finish installation. The film has been removed. Go ahead, tighten it back down. There we go, we have successfully installed our M.2 drive. Now with everything else prepped, it's time to finish our cooler installation. I wanna point out again the really nice design with this cooler and how basically it's off center. 
giving us more space on this side and flexibility in the future. If we want to upgrade our RAM, it's not gonna block anything. We'll still have room for our fan as well too. So in the future that maybe I do wanna come back here and put two extra sticks in. I don't have to remove the whole cooler. If anything, I'll just have to take the fan off. So I'm really a big fan of this design. So we're ready to take the included thermal paste. I'm just gonna give it a little press here on the CPU. It's gonna be about a pea size, as you can see. We'll make sure to get all the rest of it out of there. Now we're ready to peel off this cover. Make sure you do that before use. And then you can see how we're gonna line it up with the Be Quiet logo and branding. We're gonna drop it right in place. And while we're doing that, we're also gonna to have to come and take this bracket that you see right here with these two screws. That's gonna go like this in between and we're gonna fasten it in place. So go ahead, you're gonna place this on and line everything up and then fasten it down. Side note, go ahead, place that screw on there first. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now just take turns tightening both screws. So you can see we drop our screwdriver in through the top right here. We can line it up and tighten down and then repeat that process right here and continue to work them both until they're nice and snug. So there we go, we have successfully installed the cooler. Now let's go ahead, let's get the fan installed. You may notice right here, I went ahead, I swapped out the included fan with a Be Quiet RGB fan. So this is their Light Wings fan. We got a nice RGB ring right here. I think this is gonna look really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and clip this one right on the side as you see here. Now you can see we have the fan clipped in place on both sides, very simple. You're gonna go ahead, you're just gonna thread that through the fan like you see right here. And then you just press this back until it's clipped into the sides of the cooler. So you can see how that works. Pretty easy, then you can kind of just pull this to get it loose again. And they do give us two additional clips, so if we wanted some more cooling on the other side, we could put another fan right here on the cooler. But there you go, we got the motherboard prepped and all set and ready to go. Now you can see what it looks like with everything installed. We have our PC built and powered on. Everything's looking and working great. Now let's go ahead, let's test out the CPU. So first up, we're looking at our idle temps right here for our CPU, around 42 degrees Celsius. Our motherboard's showing 36 degrees Celsius. We do have the tempered glass panel on, so keep that in mind. The case is fully enclosed, so to speak. Now let's go ahead, let's put the CPU under full load and check on the temps again. So you can see our CPU is currently under 100% load and it has been for over five minutes. And I just actually saw a temperature drop. So it appears we have peaked at 65 degrees Celsius. And now you can see it's holding steady around 63, 64 degrees Celsius. So the cooler is working great and obviously so is the CPU. So now we're looking at CPU Z. Check it out. We're in the CPU tab right here. Feel free to pause the screen to look at anything longer. I'll clip through all the different tabs for you. Here's our motherboard, our memory, nothing for SPD or graphics. Then you can see our bench results right here. We got a single core score of 646.9 and a multi core score of 9455.8. Now you can see our Geekbench 5 results right here. We got a single core score of 1627 and a multi-core score of 12,047. We have our system information, so you can see our system info. And then you can see a breakdown of our single core performance right here. Here's the rest of it. And then we have our breakdown of our multi-core performance. And you can see the rest of that score and breakdown right here. Now we have our Cinebench R23 results. You can see we got a multi-core score of 20,497 and a single core score of 1,606. And we have a complete breakdown, letting us know our ranking compared to other CPUs. So we can change that depending on the score. But you can see we finished towards the top as you would expect. Here's our multi-core score. Towards the top again, just depends on the CPU you're comparing it with. And then you can see our MP ratio 
right here of 12.76. So overall, after using the 5900X, I only have good things to say about it. I think it's a fantastic CPU. If you can afford it and it's in your budget, you will really enjoy the performance that you get, whether you're a gamer, streamer, content creator, or video editor, whatever applications that are demanding that you're gonna use this for, you will enjoy the results and performance that you get. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.